I have this brand new construction community where the prices are starting in $323,000 and they qualify for $0 down. Are you interested? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up, YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz, and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Our passion is to help people evolve in real estate, so we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurants, shops, and so much more. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are in Lake Alford, a new upcoming city in Florida. We are in between Davenport and Winter Haven, literally 15 minutes away from each. Now we're gonna to be touring Pulte's newest community here called Silver Lake. What I love about this community is that you could pick one of their floor plans, you could pick your lot, you could pick your interior finishes and your structural options. This community is gonna offer a clubhouse, a resort style pool, cabanas, dog park for the smaller and larger dogs, a playground and so much more. Today we're gonna to be touring their Medina model which is three bedrooms, three bathroom, an office, two car garage, just over 2,200 square feet. Now make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where we'll go over all of the down payment, closing cost options, their current incentives, and so much more. Now let's begin your real estate evolution tour. All right, so entering the home, the front door is right behind me. We have this long foyer to even get into the living space where the family room, dining room, and kitchen are, okay? So we're gonna start off to the left. The left, we're gonna have a linen closet, we're gonna have a full bathroom, and then we're gonna have a bedroom. So come on this way. This is the linen closet. Well, technically it's kind of a coat closet, but you can just add some more shelves and put the linen in there. It only makes sense because it's outside of the full bathroom. Now come on this way. Well, actually we have, that could be a coat closet because we have a linen closet in here. So as you can see, I don't know who, is anyone like me? I do not like when the toilet cover is up. It just annoys me. So let's put that down. You guys know how I am. All right, so we have a shower tub combination. We have tiling going three quarters of the way up. We also have just a single sink with the quartz countertops and the white cabinet. We know that I love me some drawers. So what's gonna be a little bit just um, confusing in this house is that this is the model, right? So they have upgraded this house, they have put the tile and all of that stuff. So what we need to just take into consideration is that this is an upgraded floor plan because it's a model, right? Behind the door, we're gonna have a linen closet where you're gonna have four shelves, more than enough space to go ahead and put all of your towels and things like that. So this closet could actually be maybe like a sweater, cool closet type thing or to put some games whatever fits your family needs now let's go check out bedroom number one which is going to face the front of the house all right so as we walk into bedroom number one this is one of my special guests my baby my second boy he's 11 years old can you he's actually taller than me i just have heels on he's right you taller than me yeah he's oh my goodness with his curly hair, just like his mama. So he loves this room. He said this was his room because it has the basketball hoop over the um, headboard. So this is 
Bedroom number one, you have two windows in here, a lot of natural light, right? A lot of natural light coming in here. We, you like the light here too? That's cool, right? Do you like it because it's black? Yeah, you like it? All right. So you have a full-size dresser here. You have kind of like a desk. It's something like your, your room as well. You have your own desk and things like that, right? Did you see this? Uh, that's, cool. that's cool right you didn't so this room is definitely for a basketball player like you right yes i love it so come on this way we're gonna have the closet so it's a double sliding door as you can see you know how i always say you maximize the space by going ahead just adding another one but there's definitely enough room in here you can add another um shelf just to maximize the space shirts on the top jeans on the bottom if you need to bunk the kids Definitely a full size bed, a uh, full size bunk bed can fit in here or a twin over twin. You do one shelf for one child and then the second shelf for the other child. So this is bedroom number one. You guys got to see my baby Eli and let's continue the tour. All right, so we saw bedroom number one and you guys got to meet my baby Eli. He is one of six if you're new to my channel. Yes, we have six kids. We have three biological sons and then my husband and I were foster parents and we adopted a sibling group of three. So all together we have four boys and two girls and that is the second one. So he's the second to the oldest and I absolutely adore him. So if we come this way, we're gonna have the two car garage, which right now we're not gonna be able to see because this is a model home and the sales agents for the builders actually work out of that office, okay? So then we're gonna see the laundry room and then we're gonna check out bedroom number two, which actually is an ensuite because it has a bathroom inside. Let's go. All right, so we are in the spacious laundry room right across from the two car garage. As you can see, you have the washer and dryer here that's on the pedestals that you can open, put some laundry in there, laundry detergent, not laundry. <laughs> um, you also have a shelf here where if you wanted to after closing or if you're building from the ground up, you could have the cabinets or you can do that after closing as well. The washer and dryer does not come with the house. That just allows you to pick and choose whichever one you want to. Also, there's enough space here to put like a laundry folding table, whatever fits your family needs. I was gonna tell you, you can put like the mop and all the cleaning supplies, the vacuum, but if we open this door here, we actually have a pretty decent sized closet. You can use this for some extra storage or if you want to put all of your cleaning supplies in here is absolutely up to you. You know how I say when it's your house you do whatever you want to do. In here we also have the HVAC system as well so it's very very quiet you can even hear it. So now we're going to check out bedroom number two which has its own bathroom and it faces the side of the house. So what I like about bedroom number two where it's situated is that you have a hallway, it's kind of hidden. So after we get out of the laundry room, you have a hallway to bedroom number two, which faces the side of the house. We also have an attached bathroom. This how they have this room set up here is that I wanna show you on this wall is there different type of options they have if you're gonna build from the ground up. So included you see is the espresso brown with cabinets with the quartz countertops and these are the different tiles and then this is the type of carpet. But then you have like the classic fresh which has the white shaker cabinets, the quartz countertops and then there's a different tiling, right? And then you also are getting backsplash so they have a few different um, options that you can choose from, different faucets and, um, and all of that good stuff, flooring. So this is an option, as I mentioned, if you want to go ahead and build from the ground up and pick all of your interior options as well as your structural options. We have one window in here. We also have a sliding uh, closet door, which again, more than enough space. You can always go ahead and just maximize the space by adding another shelf there. But come on this way and let's go check out the bathroom that's inside of this bedroom. All right, so this is the bathroom that's inside of the bedroom. What I like about this is that this would be perfect for maybe um, your parents, your in-laws living with you. They kind of have like that privacy, the room is hidden, or maybe an older child, or maybe a guest room, whatever fits your family needs. So in here we have the shower tub combination, and then we also have the single sink with the white quartz countertops, and then we have some drawers here, and then your just regular standard cabinet. So this is going to be 
bathroom number two and make sure no no linen closet so there's more than enough space to put like some towels in here just kind of like an extra if you don't want to go to the other side of the house but let's continue the tour all right, so what do you guys think about the house so far? So far, we saw the front door, right? This long hallway. To my left is where we have the cold closet, the full bathroom, the linen closet in that bathroom, and then bedroom number one. To my right, we have the two-car garage. We have the spacious laundry room, and then we have bedroom number two, which has the ensuite bathroom. Now, we're walking through the living room, and we're gonna check out the den. So come on this way. This is a den. This is an office so whatever you if you need to use this as a fourth bedroom just add a closet so there are options in here as you can see they are using this as an office i am here for it i love the decor um and then you have a lot of that natural light coming in as well you have that one window so this is the den it is not considered a bedroom but if you're building from the ground up you may be able to turn this into bedroom number four or just leave it like this with the double doors and put it as a office all right so i am super excited to continue the tour so let's go all right so we just finished seeing the office now we're gonna show you the main living space which is one of my favorites because it's very open and spacious but let's show you the kitchen first we're walking into the kitchen and we are greeted with this beautiful island you guys know that I love islands because I'm an island girl I'm from Puerto Rico I'm also from Dominican Republic and I was born and raised in Staten Island New York so when I see islands it just reminds me of being back home having my kids surround the island we're chopping it up in the kitchen they love to cook and we're just talking about our day our goals and where we see ourselves right so this is a quartz countertop island with a single stainless steel sink and then we have one of my favorite features which is this pull out faucet now this island is definitely big enough for about three to four chairs and then you see that there's some uh, drawers in here we have the dishwasher so the appliances that come with this home standard is going to be the dishwasher the microwave and the stove the refrigerator washer dryer and the window blinds is in it's in it's a package that comes with the house and it's about five thousand dollars if you choose to buy it with them okay so but you have cabinets galore right now we're going to show you this 42 inch cabinets they are soft clothes and then you have the crown molding on the top we have the hood over the range which is electric and then um, so that's a little bit different already because we have the microwave and the oven right here I love when the microwave is over the oven I just it just feels different it's like it's this right here is considered a gourmet kitchen okay where you have the microwave over the oven and then you have the um, the flat top and then the range okay so if you didn't know well now you know but we have like I said cabinets galore we have counter space this this kitchen does not lack counter space or cabinets or drawers. We have one of my favorite features, a Lazy Susan. There we go. So more than enough space to go ahead and put all of your needs. But we already know that we need a, a coffee station. So I think this right here to the corner would be perfect for a coffee station. Now, what is your favorite coffee? Before I would say is Bustelo, but right now I am on this Italian coffee. It's called Lavazza. I get it off Amazon. It's the black bag and I absolutely love it. We get the whole beans because we have the Philips uh, coffee maker, which grinds up the coffee and it heats up the milk and it's so bougie, it's so me, I love it. So you guys know this would be filled with my Starbucks cups because I absolutely love Starbucks cups. Even though Stanley cups are the in right now, I still have not, I stay true to my Starbucks because I have not even bought a Stanley cup. So forever, for you, for those that who love the Stanley cup, that's, that's good, but I still stick with my Starbucks, all right? So this is the refrigerator that would come with the package if that's what you wanted. But what do you guys think about this kitchen? Do you love the, the, the size? Do you love the cabinets, the drawers? Again, this is so spacious. So as you can see that we have the hexagon tiling, but that's definitely an upgrade, okay? But if you're building your house from the ground up, you can go ahead and choose that. So I really, I do enjoy seeing the backsplash, but let's go this way. So we have a walk-in pantry right in the kitchen. 
and it's kind of like an L shape and then you have more than enough space to put your canned goods, box goods, even on the bottom you can put, you know, cases of water, the bulky snacks for the kids. So this is the walk-in pantry you have in this home. Now let's go this way where we're gonna find the dining room. So this is a six seat table. Well, technically I would say it's an eight seat table. So it doesn't, it fits perfectly. You can put a chair on the ends and, but you know how I say, whatever fits your family needs. So if you need a circular table, a rectangular table, you buy whatever fits your needs, right? Whatever, when it's your house, you are the boss, right? I was gonna say it in Spanish, but then I was gonna butcher it, so I'm not even gonna try. We have windows galore in here. So for all my people who love, love, love that natural light, this is definitely a floor plan to consider because as you can see, we have two windows here. We have the sliding doors over here and then we have three windows in the family room. So there's a lot of natural light coming in. You don't even have to have all of these lights on. So let's walk into the family room. We have a spacious family room. You have tray ceilings, recessed lighting. As you know, this is the model, so they definitely do it up, right? So a house, so for this done up like this, right? I would say you're you're looking in the four, maybe four thirties, okay? With all of the upgrades and things like that, but the houses will never come with stuff like the wood or anything like the wood paneling. That's just pure decorative, but you can do that afterwards. So this wall right here, guys, 100 inch minimum TV. You guys know how I feel about that. Right on this wall, more than enough space. But as you can see, this, this living room is very, very spacious. You have two seats, you have a freaking huge table here with a long sofa, you have end tables, you have a nice entertainment center here. Oh, let me tell you guys, let me put you on. So if you didn't know, we have eight dogs as well. I know we're crazy, but I rescued most of them and they started to overtake my house. And I'm like, oh no, we need to do something, right? And we got this one dog, she's a German Shepherd. And before she came, all of my dogs did not go on the sofa. But now it be, when she came, she was like, oh, this is my house now. And she started going on the sofa. All the other dogs started going on the sofa and it was just a nightmare after that. So now what we did is we bought these it looks like an entertainment center, but it's kind of like, it's a dog area, like a dog crate type thing where they can go in and just lay down there and they don't have, they are not allowed to go on the sofa anymore. I took my house back, yes. So if you guys have a lot of dogs too, or if you don't like um, allow them on the sofa, you can get an entertainment center and then have like an uh, like a, a kennel type thing in there. I, I got mine from Bed Bath & Beyond, but they have an uh, Amazon and all that good stuff. So come this way. You even have this area here, which is like an extension of the living room. So this living room is extremely big because you have your separate dining space over there. So you can do it here like, two uh two chairs with maybe like a reading space i don't know whatever your heart desires but you have the space for it now let's go into your covered lanai i'm not going to spend too much time back there just because the lots are going to range they actually do have some waterfront lots here i have one of my favorite families um, from New York, they actually bought a lot here in this community and they're gonna build on the water, which I'm super excited for them. So let's go check out the covered lanai. All right, so we're stepping out into your covered lanai. It is very spacious back here. Um, so you have the option of enclosing it just like they did here, but that's something that may be done afterwards. And if you're building from the ground up, I would still consider doing it afterwards because it might just be a little cheaper, okay? So this floor plan, which is the Medina, it goes on 50 foot lots. So they have different locations within the community. There's only gonna be 418 homes here, okay? So you have, you can choose it by the water or, or somewhere else in the community and the lots range between zero dollar premium up to about thirty one thousand dollar premium so you can go ahead and build a pool if you would like to but again they have a pool here as well so just use your imagination and what would you do with your backyard would you put a playground what do you do do you garden let me know I would love to see that in the comments so let's continue the tour and next up is the master bedroom all right if you guys are 
in a state where there's snow and it's super cold, man, I feel for you guys. Right now, it's in the low 70s. It is beautiful. It feels good. It is a beautiful day in here. But if you want this to be your last winter, then reach out to me because you know I got you. Let's get you into a house before the next winter, right? We still got some time. Now, what I wanted to mention is that the best way to get in contact with me is by my Calendly link. If you go on my YouTube, on the front page, you're gonna see a link. Click the link and just choose whether you're a builder, you're a buyer, you're an investor, or you're a seller. I, not only do I help a lot of buyers, but I help multiple sellers sell their homes so that they can evolve in real estate either in in florida or outside of florida okay so that's going to be the best way to get in contact with me if you call me you'll get my assistant and she'll just schedule some time on my calendar as well the reason why i do things is because do it this way is because if i'm um if i'm like out with clients or i spend a lot of my time negotiating the best deal possible for my clients then i don't want to um not give you 100 percent of my attention okay so that's going to be the best way or you can email me as well so it's completely up to you now let's go check out the master bedroom which is gonna be off of the kitchen and I absolutely love where it's located because it's separate from all of the other bedrooms so it just provides additional privacy let's go so let's check out the master bedroom so this out of all my children he is the most shy one I don't even know if that makes sense the most shy one does that make sense the most reserved okay right yeah to yourself <laughs> so what do you think about this master bedroom it's spacious but i don't know about the drawers just one drawer you would you would like different end tables all right so this is the master bedroom as eli mentioned it is very spacious it faces the back of the house you have a lot of that natural light coming in you also if you don't have rear neighbors you have a very nice view right yeah. you see some trees conserve um, conservation so this is i love it because you have the um seating area right here this would be perfect in our in our room right because we love movie nights we all of the kids come into the room and we start watching movies we need something like this we need a bench we do have a bench but it's on the side right so um you have a full-size uh dresser here you have seating over there so this is your master bedroom and then let's go check out the master bathroom have you checked it out yet you haven't checked it out so it's a surprise for you because i haven't seen it either you ready yeah. all right let's go all right so before we go into the master bathroom did you notice that there's a pocket door yes there is a pocket door which if you go hold on i don't want to always with my nails there we go so it just provides extra privacy but come on in let's check out the master bathroom so we have a double sink we have the quartz countertops with the white cabinet so whichever um like let's say you're building from the ground up and you decide you want maybe um brown cabinets then it's gonna have brown cabinets in the master bathroom as well so you have your um your lights on the top me personally i wish they would have because this bathroom is very very nice i wish they wouldn't have just done this single uh big mirror and maybe did like two separate mirrors or a very very nice extravagant mirror so that's just my opinion but like come on you go show them this master shower go that is massive it's a massive master shower is that massive oh my goodness this is massive so it does have a bench but it normally does not come with the bench you have to make sure that it does come with the bench so if that's very very important to you then we need to do that way ahead of time because it normally does not come with the bench but you have a niche you have a window in here and then you also have the rain um the rainfall shower head as well but as you can tell it's extremely spacious it is truly is walk in it's not even step in you also have a separate water closet so if you didn't know where what a water closet is it's just the toilet and then it has it's in a closet it you close the door but if let's check this out you have a linen closet here as well we have four shelves more than enough space for your blankets bed sheets towels now eli aren't we don't we absolutely love look at the camera you have to look at the camera you can't just look at me don't we absolutely love blankets in our house right how many blankets do we have more than 20 
more than 20 right we love and then if we go to the movie theaters we bring the blankets yes that's what we absolutely love to do so the master closet is actually in the master bathroom and it is very very spacious it's kind of like a i would say a u-shape type thing but like i always say you can go ahead and maximize it go to california closets there's tons of customizable um companies that come in and just make your closet the way you want it to be my in-laws did it at they went to ikea and they got a whole bunch of inserts and they made it their own and it looks great so this is the master closet well the master bet no the master bathroom <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Did you like the master bathroom? Yes. Yeah? All right. So let's go back into the kitchen and chop it up. All right. We are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my favorite place to be. What did you think about this house? Did you love it? What would you change? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear your feedback. So let's go over some details again. This is a brand new community in Lake Alfred, Florida, which is in between Davenport and Winter Haven, literally 15 minutes away from Davenport, from Posner Park, where you're gonna have all of the shopping, such as Dick's Sporting Goods, um, Ulta, Hobby Lobby, we have Target there, we have BJ's, and then um, of course my favorite, Starbucks. Um, so there's a lot of things to do there. We also have a movie theater, so literally just 15 minutes away from all of that good stuff now we're about an hour and 15 minutes away from downtown orlando and then about an hour and a half from tampa so this is a pulte community the community is called silver lake they have a few different models and what i love about it is that you can go ahead and pick the model and pick which lot that you want to be on so for example this is the medina floor plan which is three bedroom three bathrooms plus an office two car garage and it's just a little bit over 2,200 square feet. Now, the base price for this home is $365,000, but that's not including the lot. So the lots in here range between $0 premium up to $31,000. So just depending on where the lot is. For this home, you need to be on a 50-foot lot. Okay, so um, this community offers a resort style pool, community cabanas, grilling stations, cornhole and hammock lawns, small and large dog parks, and shaded playground and open green space. So this community definitely has a lot to offer. There's only going to be about 418 homes. In this area, you have an abundance of charter schools, public schools. So if you need help just kind of seeing what those options are, just reach out to me and then um, I can go ahead and um, walk you through how to check what schools um, are zoned here and what's good about florida is that we're a school choice program so let's say your kids you want to put your kids in a specific school but we're not zoned for it you have um in january you always have a chance to put your name put your kid's name in there and it's kind of like a lottery system to be for them to be able to go to the school of choice all right so let's go to monarch school of real estate where is my absolute favorite thing to do to go ahead and and educate you all on how buying a house is possible what the down payments closing costs their current incentives and etc let's go all right welcome to monarch school of real estate this is one of my absolute favorite things to do is educate you as a consumer if you love my videos if you found a lot of knowledge please like comment subscribe share um, it goes a long way i want to help as many people as i can evolve in real estate so we are going to go based off $419,960 as the list price. The reason why we're going off of this number is because they actually have a move-in ready of this exact floor plan priced at this, $419,960. The base price is usually $365, like I mentioned, and then the lot premiums is between zero to $31,000, okay? If you are looking for something that's a little less, but you love the community, their lowest priced move-in ready home is gonna be around $323,000, okay? But this Medina is the biggest single family home. They even have much bigger home, two-story homes, okay? So there's an abundance of different floor plans to fit your family needs. So just reach out to me and then we'll figure out which one works best for you guys. Now, 
There is an HOA of $135 per year. And then we do have a CDD in this community. Now it's based on the, uh, the lot size. So if you're, if your house is on a 40 foot lot, your CDD is $170 and 16 cents per month. And if you're on a 50 foot lot, which this Medina has to be on a 50 foot lot, then it is $192.53 per month, which is not hard, but when you think about it, of all the amenities that come with the, the community, okay? So let's talk about a few different loan options. We have FHA. FHA is primarily for first time home buyers. The minimum down payment is gonna be 3.5% of the purchase price. So if we do 3.5% of $419,960, we get 14,698.60. Now, when you are buying a house, not only do you have to think about a down payment, you have to think about closing costs. What are closing costs, Alexis? Closing costs and accumulation of fees, such as loan origination fees, title fees, doc stamp fees, prorated taxes, HOA, all of that good stuff. It's usually around three to 4%. I'm always super conservative and I go 4%. So 4% of 419,960 gives us $16,798.40. Now, if we add the two, the down payment plus the closing cost is gonna give us a cash to close of $31,497. So cash to close is the cash you need in order to close on the house. Now, a huge disclaimer is I am not a licensed mortgage lender. I am just a licensed real estate advisor, but this is just to give you an example and kind of like a, what's that word called? Like an estimate, right? Yes, like an estimate. Just like a, there's another word that I'm, it's not coming to me. What's the word? I don't know, he, my husband doesn't know either. It's like, um, I don't know, an estimate, okay? Just to kind of give you an idea. An idea, yeah, an idea, there we go. All right, so the next loan is conventional loan. You may qualify as a first time home buyer for 3% down. 3% of the purchase price for 1960 is $12,598.80. Now we're adding the same closing cost and we're having a cash to close of $29,397.20. Now, if you don't qualify for the 3%, the next tier is the 5%. 5% of the purchase price is $20,998, same closing cost, which is the $16,798.40, which gives us a cash to close of $37,796.40. Now. The next tier from 5% is gonna be 10%. Now, Alexis, why would I have to pay 10%? The reason why you're gonna pay 10% if this is gonna be considered a second home. Let's say you still work in New York and you are eventually gonna retire, but you wanna buy a house now, that's considered a second home. Let's say you um, you just wanna, you're gonna eventually move jobs a few years down, but you wanna place now, that's gonna be considered a second home, okay? So the only way it's gonna be considered a primary home is if you live and work in Florida, okay? Unless you work from home, then that's a whole nother thing, but it can be considered a primary home if you're living in Florida, but you are working in New York. There's no way you're gonna travel every day, so that's what the bank is gonna say. So 10% of the purchase price is $41,996. Same closing costs, we have a cash to close of $58,794.40. Now, the next tier from 10% is 20%. Now, Alexis, why would I pay 20%? The reason why you're gonna pay 20% is if you're gonna use this as an investment property, minimum is gonna be 20%. Or let's say you don't wanna pay the private mortgage insurance and you have the 20% down, then I highly encourage you to put the 20% down. And that's gonna be $83,992, same closing cost, and we have a cash to close of $100,790.40. Now, if you do not have the 20% down, it is okay. Once you get enough equity and you gain 20% of equity in your home and you have a conventional loan, you just call the bank and ask them to remove the private mortgage insurance, they'll remove it and it'll save you a couple of hundred dollars per month, okay? So the next one is USDA. Yes, we are in an area where you qualify, you can qualify for USDA, which is 100% financing, which means that there's no down payment. You only have to worry about the closing cost, which is $16,798.40 based on this purchase price. 
Um, and then VA, thank you for everyone who has served our country. We would not be here without you. You get 100% financing as well. All you have to worry about is the closing cost, which is $16,798.40. Now, their current incentive for move-in ready homes is up to $35,000 and special interest rates. So if you're using a VA or FHA loan, your interest rate can be as low, low as 4.275. And if you're using a conventional loan, it can be as low as 4.75. So that is very, 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 um, an attractive interest rate. Okay. So if they're giving you up to uh, $35,000 towards, um, like flex cash, essentially you're going to be paying all off all of the closing costs, right? So if you're in a USDA loan, minimum down, maybe, I don't even know how much it would be, but very, very minimal down. So cash, you still have closing costs and I estimate it to be around seven to $9,000. Your taxes, this community has a millage rate of 1.5%. So based off of this purchase price, so I based it off a of $400,000 purchase price is around $6,000 per year. And then homeowner's insurance is around $1,100 per year because it's brand new um, construction. Now, as I mentioned, they have the uh, special interest rates. The move-in ready homes is where you're gonna have the most incentives up to $35,000. And if you are building from the ground up, then you have a $15,000 incentives, which is kind of like flex cash, and you could use it towards your lot or design center and things like that. So this is the presentation at Monarch School of Real Estate. I hope you guys, I hope this helped you. But remember, if this is too, if this is not what you're looking for, they have multiple floor plans. I cover all of Central Florida and surrounding areas from Ocala all the way down to uh, Lakeland, okay? So just reach out to us. We would love to help you evolve in real estate. Check out my channel and my, all my other videos. Let me know what you think and stay tuned to my next video.